just doing a sound check to make sure I've come through all right. Uh, all right, so I thought, uh, why not do a bit of a GT2, do a telecast, share it about. Um, let's be honest, uh, it's all come about because Morgo was, you know, spewing. He had a good race last last week. The rumour is that he actually won. There's no confirmation of that. There's no footage of that. So I have my doubts. Um, but hey, just so the people have demanded evidence, so I figured, look, why not uh, him it for him tonight? See how he goes. Uh, hopefully he doesn't uh, crack like an egg. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, GT3 cars, I know too much about them if I'm honest. Um, but that's okay. I uh, love the Red Bull ring trap. Uh, I'm sure people will uh, be looking forward to driving it. Hopefully it's fun. Uh, Features somewhere in the new season. I think it's uh, false to sort of short track. Um, I think uh, track levels will play uh, a big part uh, in the success of this track. Um, also, going into uh, the final couple of turns. Um, so, we're just on board with Ty Morgo at the moment. Self proclaimed king of the off season. Uh, the rumour is, and we'll cover off on some of the rumours that are going around uh, the Ruse network over the next uh, short period of time. Um, obviously, Ruse is uh, a motorsport, it's not too dissimilar. This is a bit of a silly season uh, for us all, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, The Maserati seems like an immensely popular car. Um, I would say it seems to be the uh, the must-do car of, of this season. I would uh, think um, extremely popular. The KTM obviously is making an appearance, and obviously will start um, driving. Uh, there's a couple of AMGs in there. So, very, very interesting uh, look at what a GT2 season might look like. Uh, become the Maserati Cup. But, um, interesting. So, it looks like around the 128.5 is going to be going off what the free practice. Uh, seems to be where the money's at. Uh, so whether anybody can lay a half decent time down and put a bit of pressure early on will start. So 29.3, uh, not a bad luck. Uh, certainly uh, puts it in and around in some semblance of pressure on uh, will start to, uh, to get the job done. I'm just going through. So there are 10 turns at the Red Bull Ring. So I'm most probably learning about the track while we're sitting here watching Morgo. Still improving on his time. Two tenths up at the moment. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can keep that going. Sorry about this, trying to do two things at once. We know as blokes, yeah, that's not possible. 
so just bear with me. Can't find what I'm looking for, so we'll get back to uh, some of the vehicles that are going around. Sorry about that. I uh, just dived from, came home from work, not enough time to really jump on, so I thought, do the stream, why not? 
Uh, I did come home and it did look like Hello Kitty barred in the house and I've got uh, Hello Kitty everywhere. Um, the joy of having a uh, daughter, I suppose. Uh, going to the timesheet, we got someone awesome, 128.5. Uh, we'll start um, three tenths back. We've still got five and a half minutes left. Eagle Wind, third, fourth is Time Morgo. Uh, Black Falcon. Interesting. Only eight, eight tenths back. Uh, Zesty, just over a second. Uh, that's an interesting result for Zesty. Thought he'd be further up. Uh, Gaza, again, just sitting. It's pretty tight knit front through there. Um, a bit surprised Exo, I would say. Don't uh, no practice times. You would think that he's uh, exceeding the track limits a little bit. Uh, with that time, uh, let's jump on uh, with uh, Will Star there in the uh, nicely coloured AMG uh, cruising round. Uh, we'll just see if we can jump on board with him for something different. I'm liking it. It's uh, got a Got a bit, bit of a colour scheme that reminds me of the old uh, look colour scheme. If anybody remembers the look cycling team, um, it sort of had that weird sort of sort of colour black lines in between. I'm loving the camera work here, some of my best. Um, so just on board with the AMG. Uh, he is just outside. Oh, he's made some uh, into turn one. Will be, oh, not turn one, the new turn one. Uh, so, will be interesting part of the track there. I'm suggesting chaos aplenty will be happening in there in the race. Um, so, <laughs> it'll be uh, strap on your seat belts, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because chaos will ensue, I would say. So Will Star looks like he's coming through about turn seven, I would think. Uh, the seven and eight, and then this is this will be the interesting part where boys will uh, get the track limits. He is a tenth up. He needs three of them. So this is going to go down to the photo. Oh, I say get your cameras out. So I think he'll just miss it there. So he must have just missed that. By the bees wiener, I would suggest. So he's come into the pits. Let's have a look at how much he missed that one. Oh my giddy aunt, it was a bees wiener. So he's going out. One more attempt, most probably just enough time to get out there, so he's missed it by one one hundredth of a second. Um, XR will be wanting to improve from 15th. Um, so, we'll go through someone awesome. Whoa, that is a bright looking Maserati. Uh, PNL yellow, um, or green. Look, I'm a bit colourblind to be honest, so it could be anything. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Eagle Wind. Uh, six tenths back. Uh, in blue and white, so it does make me. It does make me wonder: is there a team move? If, I mean, could be seismic. Is he going to sell the acoustic racing? bit worried. Morgo in uh, has gone to Burroughs School of Colour. Black. Nice. Black Falcon. Eh. He's allowed. Um, zesty rocking out the, uh, the blue. Looking sharp. Ah, Jambon. 
Now there's a, a nice little colour scheme there. Bit of splash. Very fancy. Uh, let's see if he improves his time on this lap. And he does not. So we will have, I would say, car 20. We'll be close whether Scotty Puss gets across the line in 30 seconds. It will be close. Uh, he will be the last man to be on a lap, quite potentially. So 20 seconds should get there, barring a major catastrophe. See what I did there? Catastrophe. I thought it was pretty funny. It's got Bus, get it. Tough crowd tonight. Oh, and I think he will get across the line. Three, two, one, yes. So Scott Puss will be the last man going. So we'll see if uh, any of the uh, boys out there know. We'll start. Let's see if we can drive with him. It'll throw me to someone. No, I won't actually puts me on him so he is slightly up he's looking for the slimmest of gains that won't do it this will be everything here no sorry he will not improve so it looks like he will be second uh, unfortunately um, on board with Zesty he is a long way back, so that lap is pretty much cooked for him. Uh, more go, no, 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 whoops. Cobb McCool, no, he would, does not look like he's going to improve at all. And that is it, so that is our qualifying done. Sorry about the, uh, how's your father, commentary there for a second. Um, just trying to look up a track map uh, to uh, try and get some of the corner names in there. I know there's uh, a Nicky Louder, but someone awesome. 128.525, narrowly beating out Will Star 1 one hundredth back. You got Daylight Third, and then you've got Ty Morgo. He's half a second back, beats out. Uh, the PL train, the captain leading the way, saying, Hey boys, follow me, I'll lead you to paradise. Uh, so Zesty, 0.57 back, Eagle a tad back, only six tenths back, Pole in fifth, uh, the Falcon, eight tenths, Gaza just on a second, Jambon making his comeback like uh, I don't know like who, I was going to think of something smart, but a solid 8th spot, so you've got to be happy with that, uh, and the old fella uh, in ninth, and then uh, Harris rounding out the top 10, Rain just missing out in the uh, KTM, St Sim Scotty Puss Cobb, and then XO rounding out uh, the 15 so I'm going to turn car down slightly right just having a look at chat so it's always always one a handy thing to uh, know so audio car sounds that would be whoa 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 well this is going crazy so we won't be turning that down today. Um, hopefully I'll, uh, maybe I've just got to speak up a little bit uh, with the car sounds. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we'll figure it out for next week. Hopefully I'll have a bit of a listen, see if it's not too bad. If it's not too bad, we will continue on. So I'm imagining it's the normal layout of a one hour race. Uh, pit stop required. Um, excellent, thank you someone for the heads up, that's good. Um, I wonder if uh, team orders will play a part. Will uh, someone 
be asked to uh, move aside to let more go through. Uh, should they be one too? I mean, a lot of things could happen. I mean, you've got mate against mate, state against state. I mean, Will Starr and Zesty, usually in the uh, one in endurance team on different sides tonight. Will Zesty do what he has to do and take out Will Starr? Well, this is all to come, people. All to come tonight. Um, I don't know what people think about Red Bull. I personally like it. I think there's some intriguing intriguing parts of the track coming into turn one an uphill braking zone so where you can make up a fair bit of time because you know you're going to be able to create a uh, break a lot later sort of like coda how that turn one obviously it's obviously a lot steeper than uh, what it is here but the principle is the same so uh, will be very very interesting the guys will be madly inputting their pit strategies and race strategies in now um, so we'll see what that uh, avails to whether people are just going a 50 50 split I have no idea of the, uh, the consumption of the Maserati versus the AMG or anything like that or the KTM um, oh, Exo busting out the Audi. Oh, that's good to see Exo. There you go. Sorry I didn't give you props for that. Um, but hopefully uh, next couple of weeks we'll get some uh, information on the new Rue season. Um, something that would be, I think, cool to uh, put in the Rue season somewhere is Rugby League has the State of Origin. I'd love to see a State of Origin. So wherever anybody races from Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, um, you know, New Zealand, Chur bro, Chur, um, everybody just represents that thing and we have a little three race series, uh, I call it the race of origin or something like that. Um, and points allocated, so if one state only has five drivers in the first five drivers for that state score points. I think it'd be interesting. I mean, obviously, WA, we might have to give them some players, because, I mean, there's XA, and so that's one driver from WA, and maybe if he teaches his missus to drive, uh, that'll give two drivers to race online from WA. But the thoughts there, anyway, take that away. Mull over it. I think it'd be a cracker. Um... You know, cars in state colours I think uh, there's a lot of merit and it shakes it up one make series, pick a car that everybody's good with I think it'll be good, here we go race warm up lap uh, let's see how we go, who we can jump on board with I think we'll jump on with Eagle for the start I think um That'd be a good place to, as we jump on, we've got my cool X1. Nothing wrong with this at all. There we are with the uh, old death roll. So we'll uh, switch through the cameras. There you go, the move away vision, so it should give us a little bit of what's going on. Maybe uh, not that far back. We'll see how they form up. Um, on with Jambon at the moment. Uh, I think Jambon will get the best dressed award tonight. Um, I think I think it's a pretty sweet looking deal, the old Maserati there. Don't want to say that I've most probably taught him a thing or two about fashion in his time in PL, but you know, uh, certainly has. So for me, this is the interesting part of the uh, the track. 
is uh, these final turn two turns. So turns uh, nine and ten. I think it'll be interesting come pit time because you can see the pit line there and uh, the pit entry just there. So I don't want to foresee chaos, but I foresee chaos. Um, so the field tightening up now for the start. Uh, doing under 70 k's an hour or right on 70 if you're super accurate. Um, everybody going over where their pit boxes would roughly be. Two nice straight lines. Here we go. Going into turn one. Hopefully we get through all well. Jam one out onto the marbles. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Taking it nice and easy. And that's nice. Everybody's got through. Excellent. Now this is uh, turns two. Going up into three. It might be four at the top of the hill maybe. And this is where I think chaos may ensue here because everybody will be under brakes and there's a little nudge just up there up the field but it looks like everybody is reasonably through I would say um, so I'll move through Jambon here with uh, looks like Scotty Puss on the outside there um, Scotty Too Hotty is his wrestling name I believe anybody remember that from the uh, Oh, it would have been the 90s, or maybe a bit later than the 90s, but he was a wrestler back in the day. He's uh, carrying the traditional, uh, oh, actually, or is that Scotty Harris there? The 15 is Scotty Harris, whoops. Sorry, didn't mean to like a new and uh, uh, the Pussman in the same brush. But uh, M. Harris carrying the traditional beautiful orange of the KTM and the KTM Red Bull team for useless trivia this year used the uh, Red Bull wind tunnel to do their aerodynamics on their MotoGP bike oh jam on a bit of racing rust there out uh, out braking himself a nice rejoin nice and safely very textbook so we'll move through the field and have a bit of a look and see what's uh, happening with the rest of the field. Uh, so on board with Eagle, still uh, riding shotgun for the sheriff. So uh, no team orders in place yet, I would suggest, for Eagle. He's putting a little bit of pressure on uh, on Morgo there. Morgo just running a little bit wide there. Um, certainly you want to get through turn 7 and 8 here. Very rhythmic session. section. Can't even speak. Uh, now all sorts of pressure here. Now he should be like a conjoined twin with him. Try and stay right under that wing. Uh, see if he can get a bit of a run on him uh, So it'll be interesting whether he pokes the nose out and puts a little bit of pressure on him um, We will see he thinks better of it tucks in Just saying hey Morgo. I'm still here You know be the captain lead from the front uh, Which he is not at the moment. That's okay, but um Looks like he's just going to sit in there for a while. So we'll go back through the field here. Uh, just having a look at this little battle here. Oh no, 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 no. Cobb getting turned. He will be filthy. Absolutely filthy. He just, his car does look nice though. Um, so I would suggest, yeah, Saint doing the right thing and has uh, redressed that. That's uh, certainly battles hard, Saint Sim, um, but you can never argue the point the guy is uh, as fair as the days are long. So owned, owned up and uh, redressed and moved on. Uh, so they're back to racing. So we'll work our way through. 
So on board Black Falcon here, just seeing him in a little battle here with Gaz. And the thing with this is that all the guys are still exploring these cars, getting used to them, finding out their little intricacies and that. So they are, I won't say stretched out, but there's a little bit of a, a gap here, um, consistent throughout the field. So same. Uh, we've got a gaggle of cars back here. Angry, I think, will be the head of that train. Oh, look and sharp with their light little pink flare. So we've got a group of five cars here, all within you know, a couple of seconds. Um, interesting uh, what will happen. The first of the KTMs uh, is a uh, rain of fire in ninth spot. So, are we going to see the KTM's uh, gang up on uh, the lone Maserati here and uh, see what happens? So, at the moment what you'd be doing is you'd just be sitting back, letting Rain have a bit of a run at him, um, given that, you know, Rain is a reasonably quick driver. So, but they they just all seem to be spaced out. Angry, obviously, getting better and better as the laps go. So he's going to be looking at a a low 30 here for this lap when it's all said and done. So 30.3, that's getting down there for him now. So that's what I mean. People are going to get used to. Uh, oh, took a little bit too much sausage on that one. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting. Um, car seemed a little bit unsettled. Was able to bring it back in though. So, looks like in the background there, M. Harris just uh, starts to close the gap a little bit to rain. Um, and likewise, likewise with Scotty Puss. So I do like this track, it's hard to get away. Um, easy to defend. Um, and some interesting corners, like nice downhill braking zone. So you got to brake a little bit earlier than what you may think. Um, and through this section uh, here, it does close up a little bit um, on exit. And this is the pivotal part, the exit, the exit to this corner, the flick and flat. And then you've got to get a good run because it compromises your speed all the way down this straight um, into turn nine. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's a, quite a pivotal thing. So, rain has closed right up now on Angry just by getting a slightly better run through that little Angry, just making the one move there. Uh, nicely into the braking zone. That's much better by Angry. Uh, must have been, must be tuning in with the race tips from there. I would say, obviously, always handy. Um, so he seems to get a better run out uh, of that corner than Rain. So he's just enough getting into that top turn uh, to defend, and it seems to be the back half of uh, turn. You know. Six, seven, eight, nine is where rain seems to be a little bit better in the KTM. So a little gap developing there. Um, back to uh, Scotty Puss now. He's uh, jumped off, but he's got uh, a Jambonski uh, for company. Uh, like I said earlier, welcome back to Jambon after his season off. Um, it's uh, good to see him back out on track uh, and knocking off a bit of that old surface rust. But we've got the, the group of three here, so yeah, rain's now gone. Hang on, I'm the meat and the sandwich, and I've now got to defend a little bit. And that defending of uh, 1M Harris has uh, caused him to compromise a couple of his lines. He's just lost touch a little bit with uh, Angry. M. Harris just 
going as wide as he can and what a run what a run out of that turn one now we're going to get a run up here up the hill here and we are going to see this and i would say he's got this done because uh if there's one thing you can say about m harris he's got a cojones the size of watermelons so he's definitely uh not going to be the one backing out of that and now he's on the hunt and he's uh off to go get an angry old man so angry just clipping the outside there in the dirt um so maserati does look good though it does look very very nice looking car so we'll just start uh, stick with this for this lap just to see if there's any glaringly obvious uh, speed differences here for, for M. Harris. He certainly has a good run out through one. He goes out very wide compared to the other drivers, obviously still within limits. And uh, a very tricky thing there. So he's not gaining there, but this will be historically where he has gained a lot of time like he's actually right out on the ripple strip here right out wide so that's a bit of practice makes up so much time such a better run up the hill um, into that turn look at how he is closed up he is like if he can maintain that within a couple of laps he's going to be knocking on old angry's boot going nudge nudge wink wink uh i'm coming through sunshine get out of my way so it just seems to uh now this is the section last lap he gave away time so uh, it's a very enticing little battle here it looks like jambon has got past the pussmeister and is now tracking down rain in the background um so jambon getting his speed on uh, so here we go, so Harris is sticking to him like glue. If he gets a good run through here, it's game on. So, because I would dare say he has a magic run, like he certainly has that turn one. And you can just see he must have done a bit of practice because he's got those, I suppose those track limits just dialed in. He knows where he can go wide, where he can't. So here we should see him get the run up the hill. He's hung out super wide. Look at that compared to Angry. It's chalk and cheese. Misses the apex slightly, but I'm going to say he's still going to get the run on. And uh, maybe into the braking zone. No, a little bit too far back. But he's sort of... Uh, like a velociraptor at the moment he's just watching his prey picking his time to uh strike obviously a mistake's been made the gap's opened up so we'll go through the rest of the field and have a bit of a look uh where are we on board with the busmeister there classic colors red with the white racing stripe not bad currently in 12th spot um, looking for a mis mistake free race I would say fastest uh, this lap time at 31.9 so he would be looking at obliterating that at this stage um, he's almost a second up uh, coming into the last two so running nicely there. Oh, too much inside there. But now he's going to bleed time like there's no tomorrow down that straight. So 31 1. Uh, getting down there should have uh, realistically most probably been into the high 30s. That's okay, long way to go. We've just gone through 15 minutes of our race time with nine laps completed. So we'll figure go through and have a look. Will Star, okay, there's been overtaking up the front. Someone will be in me because I missed it. Gosh dang it. 
Um, but that was a pretty good battle at the back there with Angry. So we'll star in his uh, look uh, colour scheme inspired, I'm going to say. So I'll just go back to the garage, easy to look through and see some of these gaps. So we'll stay on board with Will Star. Uh, 1.7 back to uh, someone awesome. Then PNL train there uh, just uh, engaged in uh, second, third, and fourth. Oh, Eagles dropped back to six. Uh, interesting. So I dare say that um, the Overlord Time Wargo gave some sort of instruction for him to drop back. Uh, that's how Morgo is. Um, just having a look, so there's a little bit of a gap back to uh, Eagle back there. So he's currently chasing down the Black Falcon, uh, which will be no mean feat to get past, uh, because that will be the widest Maserati this side of the Black Stump. Uh, so it be interesting to see how that unfolds. Uh, more goes within a second now of Zesty, so we'll just keep an eye on those margins. Nothing overly too crazy. Jambon though has closed right up under the wing of, uh, almost under the wing, of uh, Rain and Fire. So Jambon has the uh, bit between his teeth. Um, oh. So down a point six there. So on board with Jambon now. See what Jambon's gonna do. As they come through seven and uh, seven and eight here. He's, oh, I would say he's gonna get a run on here. But oh, that is a fantastic textbook run. Now I'm sitting in behind here and tucking right under his wing. He's obviously carrying more speed, had to check himself then. He's checking himself again because he is tucked right under. And he is winding up the rubber band on that Maserati. Now hang out nice and wide the uh, M. Harris line. And he's got a good run. Rain has gone a little bit wide. Uh, so it'll be interesting here to see what sort of run no, Rain's most probably got just enough breathing room just enough but it's this oh no 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 little error he would be punching himself in the jets crackers with that one just a little error exiting uh, that turn um, so we'll move down to see where uh, what is going on here Every time I go off someone awesome, he intentionally loses a spot. What the frig is going on? Um, it's either team orders or dead set. He's uh, having a Barry Crocker like uh, Tom Trebojevic had for uh, Manly on the weekend. That's all I can put it down to. But Morgo, only six tenths behind uh, Zesty. Bear with me as I have a quick drink. Oh, running a bit wide. So, yeah, I'm not going to like that in track limit. 
poodles was that? That was an Exocet missile launch from uh, Russia then, of the yellow version. More go around the outside. Or is it they side by side? I can't tell you. They are side by side through here. That is nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What could go wrong? And the Black Falcon is no longer a Falcon. It's going to be a Volta. If these two touch, he is going to pick up the scraps. This is exciting racing here. Getting the run. Too much inside. That's going to cost him time. Zesty real wide. Oh, yeah. Three tenths fast for that last lap over Morgo. This is where Morgo gets the run on him. Nice by the line. Zesty, that's his best turn one in it in the last three or four laps. Looks a lot tighter, a lot smoother. Sometimes smooth is fast. He's not kept in that inside line, but Morgo under brakes. He started, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Zesty obviously, uh, I mean, in the case of the Dan Ricardos, not feeling confident. This is, oh, my giddy aunt, there's going to be a little bit of touchy-touchy. And uh, let me tell you, he's going to be close here. This is some good, good, hard, honest racing here. The Black Falcon coming in too. If not, thanks for the party invite, boys. I'll be see you soon. Let me tell you, when the Falcon joins the party, all hell breaks loose. So there we go. That is the visual gap for you. These two clowns racing against each other. They sent out the party invite. The party animal himself, the falcon, is joining. Oh, that is the fakey fake of the fake, fake, fake. Oh, the falcons joined in and followed uh, Zest into the pits. Game on. That's Coley Mole would say, game on, Moles, game on. So this lap, if there's ever an important lap for Morgo now, this is it. These shenanigans these boys have been going on has let Will Stark get out to a nice comfy eight and change lead. He's got his picnic basket stopping, having a look at the Red Bull sculpture in the midfield there, going, hey, that is a fine ball. Uh, but he's got time up his sleeve galore. So we'll see what uh, Morgo can do here. Uh, whether he goes round once more. Uh, to see how he hangs out. Very, very interested here to see what he does. Pressure changes a man. But, you know... You don't become the captain of possibly the greatest online sports racing team ever known to man without being able to have a take on pressure. The guy just laps it up, eats it for breakfast. I'll have it fried, I'll have it baked. It doesn't matter. Pressure is his meal. And he goes again. So he's going to try and lob down a couple of back-to-backs here. Uh, some good laps. I think that lap, 130.2, that's good. I think the last race lap they did was a, a 0.5, so that's a, a, a three-tenth gain um, with a bit of clean air. And uh, I'll try and flick through to see uh, what some of the other, other laps are getting done. So in traffic, where did... Uh, well, Bit of action there, look like the old KTM. Oh, Jambonski up in the fourth. There's pit stops happening all over the place. So we'll try and watch those if we can. So Zesty came out in eighth spot. Uh, somehow someone awesome has done the dash dot squiggle squiggle dot dot xx square square triangle triangle click your controller 13 times and done uh, the pit maneuver in the pit and jumped ahead of the falcon so 
Unbelievable. Surprising? No. Um, he will play a uh, consistent gap for the Falcon at the moment. So we've just gone through halfway. So let's see where um, our friend Morgo is. If we get to him sometime before Christmas. So Morgo's in the pits here. So just coming into the pits. I don't know if he'll repair that damage. If he's got any sense, he won't. Um, Gaza also joining him in the pits. So just trying to see roughly where car 58 is. Uh, the writing is small on my screen. I'm assuming that it's overtaking the, uh, no, that's not it. 58, here we go, around the, uh, final turn onto the straight. So, Morgo is out. Zesty starts the, uh, crosses the start-finish line. There he is right there. So Morgo losing, oh, trying hard then, trying hard. Did he leave half his car on the arm, go on the way out? And by some miracle, it looks like that's potentially someone awesome in the background. He's a bloody David Copperfield at the modern time at the racetrack. Like, uh, it's pretty sure he's Harry Potter. Wave got his wand out in the pit lane, wobbled it about on abracadabra fish and chips screw you guys i'm getting three places uh it's a miracle um interesting stuff so we'll keep an eye on uh whether will start's going to be pitting soon interesting to see if zesty uh with the space uh will be able to make up a bit bit of time we got a uh, Cobb and Harris enjoying their time in the sun. Uh, most definitely will give up those spots, but uh, there you go. Cobb just jumping into the pits now. Um, hoping to uh, gain some places in the, the back end of the field, so that's good. Um, having a look, someone's... Uh, that just leaves us two cars that have not pitted, which is the 15 of uh, Mr. Harris there in the traditional KTM colours. Um, so ripping round. Car looks pretty tidy. So it doesn't look like it's been in too many shenanigans. So that's good. Cobb uh, sliding down the order to be expected. Hopefully he'll come out at about... Uh, maybe the 11th, 12th spot, maybe. So we'll see where he comes out. So Cobb's still in the pit lane. He's on the move now. So that hasn't worked out too bad for Cobb. Uh, oh no. Should come out roughly... Yeah, there you go. Oh, I want to say, oh, nice stuff, but he's come out all right. Uh, he's got a little bit of a gap back now. So, Will Star in the pits. So, he is sitting there. We have we're logging for the 58. It's coming down the main straight now as we speak. And it is going to be game on, ladies. Game on. Hello. Party invite, lads. So we have the Audi there. It's in the, the middle of the uh, the sandwich. So Exo's pretty good with the old blue flags. Oh, get out of the way, son. Get out of the way. Doesn't get any bluer than that. Get out of the way, take your foot off the pedal. Exo on the loud pedal, he must have been paid off by Willstar here. It's 
got to be. Got to be. Got to be money exchanged hands. He's let him through finally, so that's good. Let him through. Bloody hell, I tell you, those slippery gypsies from WA. It is a bit weird watching, doing the commentary tonight without my Sunday teammate. But the beauty of that is that I do get to give him grief. And there's no response. What a worry. Uh, we'll start only uh, 1.8 second lead over Zesty now. I'd say Zesty's going to get the bit between his teeth here and go, Listen here, Sunshine, you think you're quick, but are you consistently quick? Oh, he is out mega wide. Can't criticise the guy, I guess. He's a little bit quicker than me, so I wouldn't question his lines, I guess. Um, ah, well, let's be honest, we can't question his lines. I mean, no harm in questioning whether it's accurate or not. Who knows? Um, yeah, so one of the big rumours that oh, if you have been in the Ruse chat that came from last week was the human headline. That's what I'm going to call it. Scotty Puss was in the PNL Academy for one night, one night only, and career defining race finish. Hasn't finished higher than that after uh, 14, 15 years with BHR. One night, an hour, an hour and a half, let's call it two. Let's be generous, two hours in the PNL Academy. And uh, Scotty Puss has like, set the world on fire. Um, I don't know if he's in the Academy tonight. Couldn't tell you, but I'm suggesting no, he's not. But at the moment he's back in 10th. He uh, currently is the second fastest uh, KTM. So M. Harris still out in front. Um, just missing the apex there, uh, Will Star. Um, that's okay, you'll get better. Jokes everybody, jokes. Um, all right, so we'll go through, work through the field while we can. So 25 seconds back, so he definitely would lose the lead, that is for sure. Um, Zesty in second, uh, driving a pretty good race, had a good battle with uh, Time Morgo, so it'll be interesting here now because Morgo will want to keep his eyes forward, and I think someone's most probably smart enough to say, hey, I've got Morgo covered at the moment on the pace run, but I just want him to run his race, close up under under the uh, ring of Zesty and see if we can make him uh, crack like an egg. Um, interesting, see how he takes up pressure. So the field uh, still a little bit spread out now after the first round of pit stops. Uh, the only round of pit stops, uh, sad but true. Um, but it'll be interesting, hopefully next season we have some uh, more ideas on what we can do, little things that are different to spice up the racing. Like I said, race of origin, I think it would be fantastic. And who wouldn't love a quick three, one, three race, one make series or multi-race, multi-class, I don't know. The sky's the limit. But anyway, I'm an ideas man, if nothing else. Someone awesome closing up another tenth. Uh, Zesty uh, pulling out two tenths on Morgo that last lap around. So uh, Harris finally in the pits. He's on the he's on the move. So Harris, you would think, would end up somewhere in the. Uh, oh, he's made up a bit of ground in the pits, I would say. Uh, yep, moving now. So the 20 car. Uh, Scotty Puss has just come on to be straight. So he's well and truly uh, going to be alright there. Um, and I would suggest I have a pretty lonely race. Uh, we'll just go down Scotty Puss here to have a look. Closest, oh, two mines. Someone awesome, Scotty Puss. Let's have a quick look. 
under pressure here by Reign of Fire, Battle of KTM Supremacy. And Rain is... Scotty Puss has closed the door. Okay, we'll go back to someone awesome. Oh, closing well under brakes. Ran wider than my backside, which is saying something. So did Zesty on that one. Let's see if we can jump on board with someone. Oh, almost. Close enough, we're on board with Morgo. So he's the uh, meat and the sandwich on this one. Not the first time he has been tonight, let me tell you. Most probably won't be the last. Uh, so some good clean racing by these boys at the front. Certainly Will Star will be loving this game. Fire up lads. Stop being pussies, get in, get, get amongst it you lot because it is, as soon as these guys all get involved with each other, it's like an episode of uh, Married at First Sight. But all hell breaks loose and shenanigans everywhere. Um, so hopefully, Morgo running a little bit wide, someone awesome, the timing, the timing through that uh, little series of corners is uh, amazing. He's poked his head out, he's turtled out, saying, hey, I'm ready to make a move, and he looks like he's going to have a killer run here. Oh, my giddy aunt. Is he going to get it done? He's showing that he's got late braking. Morgo back in his go-on-nets. Saying, yeah, I can cover you. Oh, he's run wide. One, run wide. Stamp your passport, son. Stamp your passport. Outbreak himself. Break himself. Outbreak, outbreak. Out everything himself on that one. Now, I've got to reset, calm down, and uh, get back into the groove that got you there. Morgo running wide. Oh, the pressure cooker of racing. A compromised run now down here. Morgo having to defend into this tricky, tricky, tricky corner. Downhill, cam braking zone. And there's uh, the little blue engine in the background there, little blue falcon going, I think I can, I think I can. You know what, Black Falcon doesn't think, he knows he can. He's got runs on the board. It's fantastic. Alright, back to this action on the track. Uh, someone's obviously made a bit of a boo-boo somewhere because that little gap's opened up just enough breathing space for Morgo. So, uh, interesting, Morgo being able to hold down third spot um, so still a long way from home 16 minutes and change so we'll go back to the uh, garage to have a look at the gaps across the field uh, looks like Rain still hasn't got it done past Scotty Puss um, he'll want to though he will not want to be the slowest KTM out there tonight we'll start keeping a comfortable four and a half second lead and uh, these two lunatics are still at it. So, um, let's have a look. Ah, oh, someone awesome. It's track limits going to pay. Oops. Play a part in the final 15 minutes. Who's banked up what? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you got it. I don't know. But Morgo's gone, well, look, if you're going to pressure me, well, guess what? I'm going to go pressure Zesty. So it's an interesting little little soiree here. Someone awesome, only three tenths back. Morgo's closing up on Zesty now. He's only seven tenths back. Getting a little run here. Going to look at closing up on brakes. This is where it was all happening last time. Deja vu, quite possibly. But this time he's going to be wanting a different ending to this little story. Uh, he's going to want to be getting past to say, hey, you know, I'm the PL captain, and I'm the captain for a reason. Oh, someone awesome doing his best Honda impersonation in the background there. Cutting the lawn. Only grass he's cut for a while. Morgo running a little bit wide. That's interesting. Haven't driven the track 
So whether it's giving these guys track limits for that, I don't know. I wouldn't think so. Otherwise, we would have served about 18,000 of them tonight. So maybe it's a get out of jail free card. More goes slightly cocking up the exit there. So let's see what happens. I don't want to risk going to drive mode. Oh, no, 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 and he's avoided contact. That is superb driving. Here we go, he's on the outside now. Where's the courtesy? Where's the professionalism? There was a touch, I would say, there. It certainly looked like it on the replay. Zesty on the outside, Morgo's got the inside. It looks like, will he get it done and will it stick? Zesty is all over him like a cheap suit and someone also goes you know what's my favorite time is a three-way boys because I'm joining the party I'm saying let's get this party started he has gone boom shakalaka I'm in for someone awesome joining it this is only going to slow these three down and then the original party animal is lurking in the background the vulture the falcon he's going you three boys take each other out. I'll take a silver. I'll take the Stephen Bradbury. No dramas, lads. So we're having a bit of a look here on board with Morgo. Alright, let's have a look on board in camera. Oh, no, 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 no. It was too much weight. The big fella joined him in the car and it's upset the apple car. It was pressure. Next one back. That's where the pressure's happening in the background there. Uh, let's see if we can get on board with him. That's Jambonski doing a good job. Eagle doing his best Robinson Crusoe impersonation. No one's around him at the moment. Oh my good, St. Sim hitted it up. Gaz, very ordinary green. Angry, oh there we go. I'll end up going through the whole field and then all of that happened. Alright, here we go. On board with someone awesome now. Got a great snapshot of everything. Working that wheel unbelievably hard. They are a sweet sounding bit of kit. Hang out wide, son. Hang out wide. Hit that apex hard. Nicely done, get the run, get the run. Oh, Coach Bear here. I tell you, now get ready to stuff it up the inside here like a pinata. Because you have the run holding the gear. He's thought better of it. It was like Kahuna City. Bestie's there lurking in the background, sitting in the corner. All go ahead. Half a second, less than a second, covers the three of them. The three Stooges. Here we go, under brakes again. Here we are nice and tight. Oh, working the wheel. Hard as you like. Those very rear tyres have to be screaming. Mercy, give me mercy. Sounds like some blue song. Fantastic racing here at the front line. Will Star's checked out, he goes deep fighting lap. It's like part two. Same story, different song. But uh, here we go. Pretra is nine and ten. No pitting issues here, he's on the jungle goose. Here we go, get that little bit of a... Oh, it should be an alright run here. Here we go. Get your chips ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, going me up and under. His nice tight run here. He's tucked up under the wing, upsetting the arrow of Ty Morgo here. For oh, love and money. Now who's got the Kahunes? Who's gonna say? Oh, I've got the biggest set. Oh, Morgo squeezing him for space. Squeezed him. AB tactics there. Oh, oh that was all right there. Our good friend AB. I uh, haven't seen him for a while, he's a big crook, so we do say g'day to him and uh, wish him well. Uh, 
much you do miss a little South Australian Adelaide support. I mean, Port Adelaide, Port Adelaide. I'm sure I didn't do that on purpose, AB. But look after yourself, big fella. Um, really important that you do. Miss having you about. Um, back to the racing here. Oh! He just paid $99 a cubic metre for that. Oh, it's got him. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gone all wrong. And it looks like he may have clipped Morgo on the way through. I think he has on that spin. And Zesty. Oh no, and the Vulture, the Falcon. He's gone through. I picked it like the proverbial dirty nose. It was only a matter of time. And then the, ah, fa oh, Eagle. It's a birdathon. Eagle's come in and swooped in, gone, lads. You guys are cooked. Eagle's going, I'm swooping in. I'm gonna get you here, someone. Move over. Ty Morgo back in third. Eagle's now gone, I'm excited. Oh, no, 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 no. The bloody slippery gypsy zesty. <coughs> oh, choking on oxygen, lady. I'm excited. Bloody big Daryl East like then. I've gone zesty. The wrong person. Yeah, meant to take out World Star. Very similar looking car. Actually not. It's a different brand altogether. Uh, so the PL train is some semblance of normality. But the big thing here is the Falcon. He is swooped out of nowhere and gone. Stephen Bradbury, I just want you watched your Netflix special on how you've won gold for Australia. You know what? That is my song for tonight. So the big question now is, can the Eagle hold on? Can the Eagle do an Eddie the Eagle? Or a Stephen Bradbury? Can he hang on and get silver? He was at long odds. So it'll be interesting what the gap is. What are the gap are we looking at? It looked at about two seconds. Um, but it's going to be a lot more than that now. Oh my giddy aunt. Someone awesome. A tragic night. Early speed. Errors killed the guy. So then we've got a uh, bloody eagle and bloody zesty the assassinator. I mean, crikey Moses, if he was racing his own bloody mum, he'd put her into the fence. But I love it. I love the passion. I love the uh, the drive for success. You know, so it's fantastic. It's all sorted out, though. They all little gentlemen. You know, there's a bit of bit of paint swapping going on. But this is the battle that I'm interested in. 53 versus 99 Morgo. So there you go. We got about uh, uh, five seconds. So he's exiting, uh, exiting, there he, there he goes, uh, Morgan not quite in the same shot yet, so he's about, you know, five, five seconds back at this stage, so we'll see, he's got six, six and change to go, so the chances are the Falcon's just got to keep it clean, and the Falcon will get second, thank you ladies, thank you ball boys. So that's all he's doing now. He's focusing on those lines. That's all he does all night. Some people liken him to a metronome. And I don't think that that's a bad description for the Falcon. He gets the groove and he's like a scar electric car. He just gets in the groove and he sticks into it. He's found his groove in all these corners. All the tricky ones. All the off camber. All the uphill braking zones. Getting the runs. The downhill braking zones. He's got 9 and 10 dialed. So that's the, the troublesome area. He knows how to defend into one, the uphill braking zone. Um, so very, very interesting. There's Morgo just coming into shot. Gap though isn't isn't decreasing. So that's an illusion of the camera to cause excitement. Um, so we'll go through the field. Uh, haven't seen much of the leader because he's decided to uh, not play nice and jump out. 
but uh, I think his little enduro teammates helped him out tonight because uh, the battle has been intense uh, behind him tonight. It is, uh, yeah, it's been full on. Been some great racing. So we'll start deservedly uh, in first. That's a better line, we'll start. You're obviously listening to me where I've told you to tighten it up a bit. Nice work. Uh, the Falcon. People's Falcon. That's what he is. The pe People's Falcon. Uh, yeah, not bad. Just slightly off the apex there and uh, in into uh, one there. But alright, coming up on lap traffic uh, on the old uh, the Pussmeister who uh, again after tonight does the change to PNL happen? It would be something that would reverberate through the halls of Ruse Racing. Come on, Scotty, let him through. You've seen the blue flags, lad. There you go. Perfect textbook blue flag racing there. Beautifully done. Well done. I like it. Uh, the Falcon just opening up the gap slightly by half a second on Morgo. Morgo, what could have been? He looks very second-hand there. And there is not enough turtle wax in all of New South Wales to fix that car. Because it looks beat. Um, we were on board when uh, someone awesome had more spins than goodness knows what. But I do tell you what. Hello, here I am thinking it's oh, a bit of quiet. It is not. It's uh, the D-roller, the death roller coming in letting uh, someone awesome know that he's there and uh, someone awesome I would say has a fair bit of damage there and he's running a little bit wide through turns uh, we have seen him have some trouble over this evening so whether it's wheel issues I know he did at some stage have some wheel issues but he has come through like an Exocet missile once or twice tonight Touch wood, it doesn't happen. Then we've uh, got Zesty holding down uh, six spot. He'd take a bit of sweet and sour out of that. Yeah, he's uh, giving his nose a bit of a workout. A Gazza, haven't seen a lot, but just workmanlike. If he had to be a music artist, he'd be Jimmy Barnes. He's just like a working class man. Uh, you know, so, and then we got Jambon. He'd have to be right said Fred. Best looking unit uh, out on the track tonight, by far. So he'd be having, I'm too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. That would be what's banging away on his radio, I would suggest. Mr. Harris. It's a return. He's always, always on the comeback. He's like the John Farnham of our ruse competition. He's always coming back. You think you get you drop Harris off, but no, he comes back. Rain of fire. Sort of like Ray's tattoo, I guess. Everybody likes them. And then they just fade off into the background, but then they come out again. Then they fade off. That's uh, sort of typical of his night. He's been there, thereabouts, adjusting to the KTM. Um, Cobb McCool. Um, if this guy didn't have bad luck, he would have no luck. Uh, getting turned early in the race. Um, but again, it just turns out the lap's looking good. Uh, angry back down in 12th. Um, you know, jumped on, getting used to that sort of car. Um, nice steady race. I'm sure may have got hit once or twice. Scotty Puss. Uh, you know, again, 13. PNL. Is it a realistic option for him? Maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. But I think that's what the people demand. Be the people's person, Scotty. Um... XO just does, it does what XO does, and I, typical, I bring the camera out onto XO when he's uh, gone off track, uh, insert any Honda joke here, XO, you know what I'm going to say, uh, and then, uh, yep.
in the pits, parked it up. Tough night at the office for old Saint Sim. Uh, leader on the final lap. So again, we'll start outstanding driving. Uh, looking great. Uh, the car, don't mind it. Like I said, I think it reminds me of the old look colour scheme from the cycling days. Uh, look it up for all you young'uns out there. Use your interweb and get it done. Um, but looking good. Looking good. Solid race. Um, has loved the action in the back end uh, of the race. Not in this back end, but in the back end of the race anyway, moving on. Um, and it's done a brilliant job. So, uh, well deserved win. Showing a little bit of class there. Um, and angry uh, forever the gentleman going, you know what, three turns out, you know, I'll still obey the blue flags. So here we go, just went through turn 10, brilliantly raced, well done lad. Uh, another win for uh, Willstar. Um, the Falcon, the Vulture. What can you say? The People's Bird. And yeah, be excited. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, Scotty Puss coming over the line. Nice work. And it looks like El Capitan has done the business. Taking the uh, young ones. Eagle in four. Someone fifth. Eagle there. But just giving them a bit of a nudge. How you doing? Uh, someone awesome. Hit the pace car, someone. That's the only thing you haven't hit tonight. Um, unfortunately, losing control uh, through that S bend. <coughs> Zesty, unlucky. Got tangled up in it all. Unfortunate. Gaza, nice quiet night. Jambon, welcome back, champion. Well done. A great eight spot. And Bloody old John Farnham himself in in ninth. Uh, Rain of Fire rounding out the top ten. Uh, nice drive. Uh, and then we go through to Cobb McCool, Angry, Scotty, Exo and uh, the Sim Meister. So thanks everybody for uh, putting up with my dodgy commentary. Zero preparation. Zero idea about really uh, the Red Bull track. Um, but should we race here during the season, I'll have some useless trivia for you that you'll be able to use at a night out. Um, but, yeah, they look... I think it's a great track. I think it produced close racing. Um, hopefully it features on our next uh, season calendar. Um, I'm thinking the race of origin. If you think it's a great idea, inundate the admin and go, you know what? bears on to something. A race of origin I think would be fantastic. But that being said, done ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, hopefully it's not too bad and it's all enjoyable uh, watching back uh, and I will catch you around the traps. Alright, see ya. Whoops, now I just gotta learn to end this thing.